okay now let us perform uh, time shifting in continuous time signals so if we can have a look we have this original signal a sine wave signal and when we advance this signal this will come towards the left side of the figure right? as i said earlier advancing a signal means that it comes on the it 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 shifts towards the left side of the signal delaying a signal means that it shifts towards the right side of the signal so the shift signal has been advanced by one unit here and it has been delayed by one unit here because if we compare these two the shift signal has been shifted by one unit to the right and this signal has been shifted by one unit to the left okay so how we will do it in matlab let us write the code for this signal first i will define the range of t 0.01 I will say that it's running towards the 3 pi. Fine. Then I will define y, which is sine of t. So we have a simple function, and there I am plotting the original signal. Because I am plotting uh, uh, continuous time signal, so I will use the plot command. Again, I want to have uh, sub regions in figure, so I use the subplot command. So the subplot. Again, I want to plot three figures. I will use one cross three, R three cross one, which means three rows and one column, rectangular matrix, and those those figures will be drawn there. And I want to draw it in the first position, so I will write first in the third argument. So subplot. Then I will use the plot function. Why? Because we are plotting a continuous time signal. I will give, give it a title, uh, original signal. So hopefully if we run this code original signal will be plotted here we'll save it ok so the MATLAB is running it's not sin t of t this is sin of t terminate the string properly this is terminated hopefully it will run now so we have the original signal which is this fine now if you want to plot the advanced version of this signal I will say that uh, y1 let us name it as y1 y1 is equal to sine t plus 1 fine if we sub if we make equal t plus 1 is equal to 0 t comes out to be minus 1 which is on the left side of the figure so it means the shifting the we are shifting the signal to the left side by one unit so this is advancement advancement fine we are advancing the signal again i will use the subplot 3 cross 1 and i will plot it in the second position and i give it a title advanced signal Fine, let us run this. Hopefully, two signals will be plot up to there. No. Why is it so? Y1 is equal to. I haven't used the plot command. So, I will write plot uh, t and y1. So, here you go. We have the advanced version of this signal. This, this signal has been shifted to the left side, which means that it has been advanced. Now, if you want to plot the delayed version of this signal I will write y2 is equal to sin uh, so if we if we make t minus 1 this argument if you make this argument equal to 0 if you make t minus 1 is equal to 0 we get t is equal to 1 which means shifting the signal towards the right side so this is delayed signal delayed signal I will again use the subplot one last time the position here will be 3 so I will write 3 in the third argument then I will go on and plot and then I will go on and plot this plot t comma y t fine and give it a title is 
the lead thickness so i will run this so now we have three signals the original signal advanced signal which is shifted towards right uh, left and then we have delayed signal which is shifted towards right 